If you have been struggling to grow with your African Folktale channel, then this video is definitely for you because I'm going to be sharing with you how you can use AI to come up with viral folktale stories because it's stories that grow an African Folktale channel. So if you have a very bad story, you're going to struggle with your channel and you will possibly not grow as fast as others. So you need to learn how to generate amazing viral stories. And not just that, I'm also going to be teaching you how to come up with amazing titles and every other thing that you need to make your video viral. Now, if this is something that you're interested in, please come closer and let's dive in. To get started, the first thing you need to do is to come up with your story ideas. Now, I will always recommend that you generate the story idea yourself. That is, you come up with the story ideas yourself. But at some point, you're going to run out. At some point, you're going to dry out. You're going to go blank that you can't come up with any story idea again. And that is where you're going to employ ChatGPT. That is where you're going to employ AI to help you out. So I'm going to show you how you can go about this so that you can generate read viral stories using ChatGPT. So the first thing you need to do is to put in this prompt. Give me 20 African story ideas. Now you can do 30, you can do 10, you can do 5, you can do 100 depending on what you want to achieve. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to be using 20. And if you notice here, you can see that I didn't use African folktale. I didn't mention folktale here because there are so many people that is asking ChatGPT, oh, generate African folktale story blah 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 and all of that and that is the problem ChatGPT will start generating generate stories and stories that look alike and it's going to affect a whole lot of people and it's going to look like you copied from someone and youtube might not monetize you if you do that so to be on the safest side we're going to be using this prompt like this we're going to say give me 20 african story ideas that are very interesting fascinating and full of suspense. It should also have creative synergy, access to the subconscious and emotionally evocative. Only use simple and easy to pronounce names, villages, and African culture. So this way, ChatGPT is going to generate names that AI can pronounce. For those of us that are using AI to generate our voiceover. So now that we have this, all we have to do next is to send it and let ChatGPT do its thing by coming up with the story ideas. All right, so now you can see that ChatGPT has generated 20 story ideas that we can work with. So all you have to do now is to go through the stories and see what ChatGPT has come up with and then know the ones to use and the ones to discard, but let's just get started, right? So the next thing you're going to do after you have generated the story ideas is to start developing the stories. Assuming you love the story ideas that ChatGPT generated for you, but if you don't like the story ideas, you have the option to just go ahead and click on regenerate. That is this icon here. Click on regenerate and it's going to regenerate another story idea for you. Or you can give it more prompts to generate more suspenseful and interesting story. And it's just going to go ahead and do that for you. But for the purpose of this tutorial, let's assume that this is very good. And we're going to go in with the second prompt. And that is this prompt right here. It's quite much. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy it and I'm going to come over to ChatGPT and paste it like so. Generate the full story of number eight, right? So this is number eight, all right? So full story of number eight. Make sure you use simple English that an eight-year-old can easily understand and make it packed with suspense and interesting conflicts. Now, this is very important because suspense and conflict actually makes a good story, makes a good movie. So you need your story to be packed with a lot of suspense and conflicts, right? So it should be very addictive, emotionally evocative, creative synergy and access to the subconscious. You need to assess people's subconscious to be able to pull them into the story to make them watch for longer because if they watch for longer, YouTube is going to recommend it to more people and to more people and to more people. And that is how videos go viral, right? Now, moving on, the story should be 30 chapters long and the chapters should not be less than 300 words. Also, do not include chapters as the title. This is very important, except you want ChatGPT to start writing chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. And at the end of the day, you have to go through the story and start removing all the chapters one after the other. You don't, you don't need that, right? So now I'm going to go ahead and explain that instruction by saying, just use a new line for a new chapter, but don't mention the chapter number, okay? 
So let me just go ahead and add number here. Only use simple and easy to pronounce names of villages and African culture that AI can easily pronounce. This is if you're using AI to generate your voiceover, there are some names that AI can pronounce. The AI struggle to pronounce those names. So you have to tell ChatGPT to generate easy to pronounce names that AIs can just pronounce easily without any hassle. Now, moving on, this is one of the most important parts of this prompt, which is do not end the story as I would like you to generate a continuation after generating the first story. Also, ensure that you follow all instructions. Now, this is very important because if you look at the videos that have gone viral in the African folktale niche, if you go through the comment section, you see a bunch of people asking for more. You see people asking, oh, I want part two. Where is the part two? When is the part two going to come out? So you want this just in case the video goes viral and people want more of it. Or you can also use it as a continuation for a second video, right? So that way you can link the two videos together. So whoever that ends up watching this one will want to watch this one. And whoever that found the part two first will also want to watch the part one. And that way you're going to be growing your views and growing your watch time very, very fast. So now that we have this, the next thing I'm going to do is to go ahead and send it and let ChatGPT come up with a story for us. How cool is this? And now you can see that ChatGPT has generated the story and it's amazing. You can choose to increase the volume of the story by telling it to generate more. And you know, you can always generate more because you told it not to stop the story, not to end the story, not to resolve the story in the end so that I can keep generating more and more. So with that, you can keep generating more. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we are going to jump to the next prompt that we're going to be using and that is we'll come over to our prompt library of course my little prompt library oh, by the way if you stay to the end i'm going to be telling you how you can get this prompt for yourself so now that i have this the next thing we're going to do is to copy this prompt here so we're going to copy the next prompt and we're going to come back to chat gpt and we're going to send it but first, let me read it out for you. You can see, generate the synopsis for this story that I will use as my YouTube video description. Make sure it's very interesting, but don't give the entire story away. <laughs> How cool is this? So this is what you're going to be putting in your description. I know a lot of people miss out on this, but it helps with SEO and it helps you know, the, your, your prospective viewer to know if it's worth their time or not. So this will help. So what we're going to do now is to click enter to let ChatGPT generate the synopsis for us. And we're going to have a synopsis that we're going to use as a description for our video. And voila, you can see that ChatGPT has done generating the synopsis and you can see it's amazing. It's quite short, which is fantastic. So all you need to do now is after creating your video, after doing all that, the next thing you're going to do after uploading the video, you're going to just copy this and paste it in your description. If you go through it and you don't like it as much, all you have to do is to click on regenerate and it's going to regenerate the synopsis for you and generate another one and you're good to go. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to move over to the next prompt that I have for you. And that is this one. Okay, so we're just going to go here and copy this prompt like so. And we're going to come back to ChatGPT and we're going to put it like so. Generate multiple image prompts for each scene that the characters will be consistent and captivated. Come on. <laughs> so with this, you're going to get character image prompts that you can use to generate your characters very easy. And by the way, I bet you didn't know that you can generate images with ChatGPT. I trust you didn't know about that. Let me know in the comment section if you want me to do a dedicated video on how to use ChatGPT to generate images. Amazing, amazing, realistic looking images. So let me know in the comment section if you want me to make that tutorial and I'm going to go ahead and make the tutorial just for you so that you can start generating amazing, amazing pictures because some of those African folktale channels that you see, they are videos and then you wonder how did they come up with that picture? I've tried literally all image generative AI tools and none of them comes close to the pictures that you see on some of the African folktale channel videos. Not to worry because ChatGPT can do that for you and I'm going to be making that video for you if you indicate that you want to see that video, right? So now ChatGPT is done generating the image prompt and all you need to do now is to go over to your image generative AI tool and start generating the images for your story. You can see that it gave us a team prompt, but 
This should not be limited. You can ask it to give you more prompts, more detailed prompts, and you can even add to it. So this is not like the final or only prompt that you're going to be needing, but it's more like a guide for you to just generate the base prompts, the base images that you're going to use to edit your videos. And then if you need any other one, you can always ask ChatGPT to generate that particular one or you can use any other generative AI tool to generate the image and you're good to go. And that brings us to the next prompt that we're going to be using. And that is this one. So the, to use this prompt, the first thing we need to do is to come over to YouTube. Okay, we're going to come over to youtube.com and we're going to type in African folktale. Okay, I'm going to show you exactly what you're going to do. And here, oh, here's my video if you haven't seen this video please go ahead and watch it to learn how you can generate unlimited consistent animations and images for african folktale stories if you haven't seen this video please do well to see it i'm going to be linking it in the description so that you can watch it and learn how to generate consistent images but let's move on so now that you're here the next thing you're going to do is to come over to filters and you're going to select view count, okay? You're going to click on view, view count and you're going to see all this one here, but this is not all you need to do. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to come over to filters and you're going to come under upload date and you're going to click on this month so you can see videos with the highest views this month. Now we have this, you can see that this video was posted three weeks ago and it has gotten 351,000 views cool is this so what you might want to do is to just copy the video link okay you right click and click on copy link address and then you're going to come back here to your prompt and you're going to paste that here like so so we're just going to go ahead and paste the link like so and we're going to then copy this prompt and come back to chat gpt and paste it like so so we're going to tell chat gpt using the format in this youtube video you put the link. This is where you put the link now, right? Generate 20 title ideas for this story that will be captivating, irresistible, and make people click on the video. The goal is to get at least 5 million YouTube views. So you're going to send it and let ChatGPT generate video titles for you. So you're letting AI do virtually almost all the work for you. All right, so now you can see that ChatGPT has generated 20 title ideas for us. Now, how cool, how cool is this? So now we have the 20 title ideas. You can go through them and see if you will see what you love. If you see any, then you're good to go. But if you don't, the next thing I want you to do is to use the next prompt that I'm going to show you. So I'm just going to come here and I'm going to paste this prompt here like so. And I'm going to come back to of course, YouTube, and I'm going to click on a viral video like this one was posted one month ago, and currently it's getting 121 views per hour. And the next thing we're going to do is to click on the video to open the video, and then we're going to copy the video title. All right, so now the video is open, and we're going to copy it, and then we're going to come back to ChatGPT, and then we're going to paste it here. And the prompt is quite simple. Use this title format instead. She wore a wedding gown to her son's wedding because... So we're just going to go ahead and arrange this as it should be. So we're going to put this dot, three dots. So we're going to go ahead and send this and let ChatGPT generate amazing title ideas for us. So you can see it's generating 20 title ideas using the format that we gave it because that kind of format really brings in amazing number of views. So now that we have this, you can see that it has generated the title ideas for us. She stopped the evil plot because she had a plan. She entered the dark forest because she had to find the secrets. You can see the title ideas here. So you can just go through them and then compare them with this one and see if you can use any of them or better still merge one with the other so that you can come up with outstanding title, right? So now that we have the title already, the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to come back to our prompt library, our mini prompt library, and we are going to copy the next prompt that I have for you. And then you're going to paste it here. In not more than five sentences, generate the high point of this video without revealing the entire juice of the story. But let it be very interesting and emotionally evocative 
so that viewers can be glued till the end of the story. <laughs> now, this is amazing. So we are going to go ahead and send it and let ChatGPT generate this for us. Now, what we're going to use this for is the intro for our video. You know, when you're watching a blockbuster Hollywood movie and, you know, the movie just starts with action scene and then there's a lot of action, a lot of things happening on the screen. And then afterwards, it's as if the movie just started. They, start, they will now start writing the names and everything, right? That is exactly what we are trying to achieve with this prompt. We are trying to suck in the viewers into the story so that they can be able to watch to the end. So we are actually putting out the most interesting part of the story in the beginning of the video, and then we can then start the video. So all you have to do is while editing, you're going to put in the script that ChatGPT will generate for you now. And afterwards, you're going to start the video proper, like once upon a time, blah, 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 right? But you have shown the most interesting part of the video, which will now suck in the viewer and make them watch till the end. And voila, you can see that ChatGPT has generated this intro for us and it's amazing. But if you don't like it, all you have to do is to click again, click on regenerate and it's going to regenerate the intro for you and give you a better intro. Now, by the time you put all these things together, you will come up with a viral, heavy keyword studded story that is likely going to start a chance of going viral. But the thing here is you might do all these things and the video will not go viral. But if you use the same format for all your videos, your video stands a higher chance of going viral. Now, it might not be all of them, but some of them is likely going to go viral because you use this technique. Now, if you want to get this from, please check the description to find the link to my Telegram channel. I'm going to drop this prompt in the Telegram channel so that you can just go ahead and go through the prompt and use the prompt. But remember to make changes. Remember not to use it everything verbatim because everybody is going to be using the prompt. Make changes to the prompt and add your own flavor to it. Now, if you want to learn more ways to grow your African folktale channel, I've put together this playlist just for you. All you have to do is to click here to watch it right now. Watch it and thank me later. See you on the other side. Ciao.